Our building was built in 1930s, and after the perestroika, when the trade union lost everything, so they didn't, uh, they can spend more money for house, and it was totally destroyed. So finally, we get this place and start to work. And Natalie, she has a first class when she has just three students. So now it's a, like looks like un unbelievable, you know. But unfortunately, Mariinsky wants to destroy all these buildings. This and all these buildings they want to destroy and build second stage for the Mariinsky. You see, they want to destroy all these places. And people love art here. They are very passionate, they are very warm. Uh, if they find co connection with you, or then like they're open, they like, uh, they're so honest. They had to dance on this carpet on top. It, well, it wasn't a carpet, it was like a canvas material uh, laid over bumpy, splintery wood. They don't complain. Like I said, they're tough. Well, I came out in Moscow then. I changed for another train and then I came to St. Petersburg here to attend these classes because they're actually very great, really. Um, they give you a new approach, a new viewpoint of uh, dancing, you know, not only just choreography, like different movements, but also psychological approach. So, first of all, you, th you should think and you should decide in your mind what you're going to do with your body and what you're going to do with the people around you. She's a swimmer and uh, when she dances, uh, she feels that it's like in swimming. Yes, she, she feels that she's flying. To be in harmony, not with your body, but with your soul. So you feel, uh, the, one teacher always said, be the dance, be the dance. So you and dance like one whole. Building ship. First seaport. First seaport in Russia. Before Saint Petersburg in Arkhangelsk was uh -huh. window to Europe. Merchants came here from Sweden, from Norway, from the uh, Holland, and they uh, the river fr was frozen during the winter. Nikola is also invited for messy classes. Some uh, teachers from uh, around Arkhangelsk. So they took classes. I was born here and I've been living here for the whole of my life. And my diploma work was devoted to the old um, English epic poem, Beowulf. I wanted to find out the concept of an enemy uh, in those times, whether it is different from our concept of an enemy. And uh, you know, I have found some differences. Of course, uh, Moscow and Saint Petersburg took uh, the lead in, you know, in presenting contemporary arts. Uh, but um, as for the other cities, uh, contemporary arts uh, came quite late. Like, yeah, and you can't say that it's accepted uh, by many people. Of course, people come to Solovki to experience history, to understand their own place in history. So you get um, closer to what your like Russian identity is. But then uh, if you take something abstract or if you do installations or performances, of course it confuses people because they're not used to it. So, but everything, you know, is born out of conflict.
I wouldn't say that there is some style or some technique where, which can which can dominate in the future. I think it will be very free artistic search. And I mean, the main thing is that we need a lot of luck, the circumstances to be kind. The groups are better now in their technique, you know, and their mind maybe. The ideas were more interesting this year than the last. It's developing. I'm glad 